Hello and thank you for joining me today. I wanted to first apologize for my casual wear this evening. I am in a place where it's very cold, wet, and rainy, so hence the need for my hat and sweater weather. But I wanted to take a moment to talk about eye care when it comes to skincare products. So we'll be covering topics such as fine lines and wrinkles, under eye circles, dark circles, and puffiness. So a lot of us know as we get older, the skin around our eyes becomes looser and thinner. But if we use the proper anti-aging products early and age and consistently we can try to help our skin out by fighting that aging process as much as possible and what we want to do when it comes to fine lines and wrinkles is use products that are going to really moisturize and hydrate our skin now when it comes to dark circles and puffiness it's likely that we are not getting enough sleep among other dietary and lifestyle influences but what we can do is use products that are going to be high in antioxidants vitamins and peptides and I have to say when it comes to to, there are two products when it comes to my skincare regimen that I take very seriously. One of them is eye cream and the other is serum because those are both products that are going to target the concerns that we have, especially when it comes to anti-aging. But we really want to look for very active ingredients that are going to be effective enough to deliver the results that we're looking for in both of our serums and eye creams. So there are lots of ingredients out there that are going to be great when it comes to eye care products. Some that I look for, vitamin K that's going to help with, uh, help, help with improving our cellular health. I also look for hyaluronic acid because that's going to help with moisture and hydration as I mentioned earlier. Vitamin C is going to, among there's so many benefits to vitamin C, but in eye care products it's going to help with collagen production. So our eyes get, uh, the skin around our eyes gets looser and that's going to help to tighten that with collagen production. Then we have our Lictrish Root, which is going to help lighten the darkened areas under our eyes. And then the last one that I like to make sure I consider or include in my products is the peptides. And those are going to help to smooth the fine lines and wrinkles and firm the skin underneath our, our eyes. So I have some favorites that I wanted to share with you. The first one is by Hydropeptide, and hence the name Hydropeptide. It's going to be loaded with lots of peptides. And I can try to show it to you. The glare is probably going to get in the way, as it usually does. But it's called hydropeptide. I'm trying to show you the name there if you can see it. I will definitely include a link to all of the products that I talked about today. But this one in particular is called Uplift Eye and as I mentioned it has lots of peptides. It's an anti-wrinkle plus sensitive eye cream for your eyes. You can get this from directly from the website. I can't recall how much it is. It is a little bit pricey, but it's perfect for those of us who are trying to combat the fine lines and wrinkles. Um, you can also get it in some of your spas that carry the hydropeptide line. So that's one that I like to use. Another favorite that I have is by Lemieux, and it's one that you can also find in spas or you can get it directly from the website. This one is also very much loaded with peptides. It's called the Eye Wrinkle Corrector. Uh, this is a sample. The other hydropeptide that I showed you is actual product. It's not a sample, but this one is actually a sample. So. Um, the size is quite small but Lemieux is a great product line that I've mentioned in other in other videos so those two are probably my top two favorites and then I move into some others that I've started recently using this one is by Bion it's called youthful eyes peptide cream so again it's going to have the peptides I think this one also has vitamin E and hyaluronic acid so it's going to help with the moisture and the hydration that we need for the fine lines and wrinkles so that's a great product as well that I've just recently started using another one that I enjoy is by Bella Schneider it's called easy on the eyes and it's going to have copper peptides I think this one also has vitamin E in it as well if I recall um, this one is a little bit darker if I recall yeah it's a little bit darker in color it's not the creamy white that you're normally probably used to seeing for your eye creams but I like it it's very um, it's very nice on the skin and it's one that I just started recently using another one that is unique as far as ingredients it's um, called full spectrum eye cream and some of the ingredients that this one has mango butter jojoba oil rose hip seed oil, pomegranate, geranium, frankincense, it's loaded, it has carrot seed, calendula, arnica. So um, this is one that I just started using. It's quite nice, it's very soothing, and um, 
it's, it has a lot of the ingredients that I don't typically look for in my eye cream, so I thought I would give it a try, and so far so good. But it says that you, um, it helps with puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines, so it has some of those ingredients that I would consider food for your skin. So that one's a new one that I've started that I've started trying. And then one that I think a lot of us are pretty familiar with is by Drunk Elephant. You can get this from Sephora. And this one is their C Tango multivitamin eye cream. They have two different ones. The other one, I believe, is more for moisture and hydration. This one is going to help with the puffiness and the, the dark circles. It has the vitamin C and or hence the name C Tango multivitamin. So I like this one because I really feel that it's effective compared to the other one. And when you put it on, it actually seems to tighten the skin around your eyes just for a moment. As you use it more frequently though you kind of get used to that so that feeling goes away. But um, I like this one. It's probably, it, it made kind of the bottom part of my list, the bottom but the bottom five of my list are actually six here that I, that I love using as far as when it comes to eye creams. But I wanted to share those with you. They are loaded with all the right ingredients, in my opinion, that are going to be effective and deliver the results that I'm looking for when it comes to my eye creams. One of the other things that we want to make sure though is that we're getting enough sleep. We need our rest and I think there are sleep uh, sleep surveys and tests out there that suggest that we need to get at least seven to nine or ten hours of sleep. And so make sure we're getting our rest and helping our body out so that we don't encourage and add on to what we might already be experiencing when it comes to dark circles and puffiness and fine lines and wrinkles. So I hope this was helpful. Please do subscribe if you're enjoying my channel and enjoy your weekend and we will see you next Friday. Thank you.